Welcome back to Morning Mix. Whitney O'Connor was diagnosed with stage 3 HER2 positive breast cancer back in 2017, a week after turning 30 and six weeks after getting married. During treatment and survivorship, she struggled with finding a community of women that were her age and that could understand what she was going through. She realized there were other women who felt the exact same way, and well, she decided to start a nonprofit to support and empower those women who also felt alone and lost. So began the Booby Queen organization. One of the events associated with the organization is Rockin' for Boobies, a night of music and awareness on October 7th at Soleil in downtown Augusta. Whitney joins us here in the mix studio along with Rockin' co-founder Josh Anderson and this year's Booby Queen, Kristen Anderson. I've gone ahead and been told no relation. There you go. <laughs> it's already been put out there. Uh, guys, welcome. Thanks for joining us here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Good to be here. Uh, Josh, we want to start with you here. Um, how did Rockin' for Boobies, how did this event get started? Um, well, several years ago, uh, my, my girlfriend at the time, Bridget Story, uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer. She went through um, chemo, surgery, treatments, Went into remission for a total of about three months uh, and it metastasized, it came back stage four, at which point she was told she could no longer work. Um, her uh, immune system was, was shot from the chemo and she worked with, um, uh, at nursing homes and with the elderly. So, been not able to work anymore, uh, she was really worried about how she was gonna live and how she was gonna finance her life. We put together the idea for Rockin' for Boobies uh, to raise money for her so that uh, you know, we can make sure that she kept a, a quality of life. Our local community came together. We had five bands show up on a Sunday afternoon, the Highlander in North Augusta. Um, all of our friends and family came out and uh, it, it raised a, enough money for her to live for six months until she could start getting help from uh, Medicaid and Medicare. And, um, she was so overwhelmed by it that we wanted to pay it forward. Right. So the following year, last year, we, we did it again, and we supported um, a different woman that we had found. And again, five local bands from our community came out. They play for free. Soleil donates the venue for free. We had such a great turnout at Soleil last year uh, with the awesome open air stage. We decided to do it at Soleil again this year. Last year, we also started our partnership with Whitney and, and the Booby Queen Company. This year, uh, there's no way I could have done it without her. Right. Um, we lost Bridget last December, um, and I, I absolutely could not have done it alone, and Whitney has been crucial uh, to help me continue Bridget's journey and her legacy and, and pay it forward another year for uh, Kristen. And let's talk about the Booby Queen Company and how it all started, first of all. Love your crown here. Thanks. <laughs> if you can't see close up, it's a bra. <laughs> and you said you've actually been wearing these since you were about 14, right? This yes. This has been something, a passion project for years for you now. Yes, yes. So I was uh, the only gal in my friend group um, that had boobs. I hit puberty first. Uh, and so my girlfriends nicknamed me the Booby Queen. They, we were on a girl's trip and we had a, I had my clothes laid out on the bed and uh, one of my girlfriends walks by, picks it up and goes, oh my God, Whitney, is this yours? And I said, yeah, yeah, that's mine. Welcome to my world. And she said, you're like the queen, the queen of boobs. And so at that moment, I put it around my head and here we are. Um, <laughs> but it, it was a very ironic, you know, nickname because uh, 15 years later, I was diagnosed at 30 years old with breast cancer. And uh, now you've started this uh, company. Uh, obviously for a great reason here. We, we've already talked about the beginning of this. This year, we are focusing with Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Hi. Uh, and when did your journey start with breast cancer? So I was diagnosed last May when I was 34 with stage two triple negative breast cancer. Um, went through chemo, had a double mastectomy, was cancer free for about eight months. Um, and then June of this year, um, it came back to the skin, so stage four. Um, and I'm three rounds into chemo, have one more left, um, and then we'll do radiation and hormone therapy. How important is it for this event for you uh, to be able to help support and also to be recognized for it too? Oh, I'm so honored. Um, and it's, I mean, finances can be tough. Um, I've had to cut back at work. Um, thankfully, I'm able to still work some, but 
Um, and my husband's a full-time student, so this will be a blessing. And it's really just an amazing thing going on and for everyone at home, if you want to help give to the cause, you are able to do that. Let's kind of just recap the details, what people need to know, where they need to go for more info. Well, uh, of course, Saturday, October 7th at Soleil, um, we'll have music starting at four o'clock and it'll go till probably 12 or one o'clock in the morning, uh, depending on um, how far the last band wants to take it. They, <laughs> they kind of have a free for all because they're at the end of the night. They Closing can... time. You don't have to go home, but you can't <laughs> That's say right. Right. Scott, Terry, if you're watching, you're on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to be great. We've, we've got um, some great local bands. Uh, Josh Pierce will be opening up. Uh, we'll have Sounds of Brilliance. We have Happy Bones. And we have a uh, young man, uh, Liam Hewitt, who uh, sings Elvis. Who has been on our show before. Absolutely excited yes. to see him. You can come out to the event. You can donate. We will have live raffles there at the event. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, on Whitney's page, we've posted a large raffle that we're starting off early, which um, is a seven-night stay at a beachfront resort in Belize. We're only selling 200 tickets, and they are $50 a piece. Right. And you can buy those through her website or find one of us um, in person. All right, check that out. Saturday, October 7th, starting at 4 o'clock, slowly. Facebook.com slash rocking, the number four boobies. You can get more information there. Guys, thanks so much for joining yes, us Yes, thank morning. you. Thanks, <laughs> we appreciate it.